So those were all easy, but now we come to a tricky problem. It's here. 0 0.3 plus 0 0.04. Now there's many students who answer 0 0.7 or 0 0.07. But both are wrong. To see why, let's look at the number line. I've marked 0 0.3 there. 3 tenths. And then this is like jumping this much further. And this number is 4 hundredths. Notice that these are tenths, these are hundredths. And so we will jump four hundredths further. Does that mean that we jump all the way here? But see, these jumps would be tenths. We're just going to jump four hundredths further. Four of those little marks, remember? Okay, so we get three tenths and four hundredths. The answer will be 0 0.34. But to see it even better, let's write 0 0.3 as 0 0.30, 30 hundredths plus 4 hundredths equals 34 hundredths, like that. Okay? Remember, 3 tenths equals 30 hundredths. If I put here these little marks, 4 hundredths, then I would have 10, 10 and 10 here. So 3 tenths would be 30 hundredths. Let's use the same trick here. So that when we have 8 hundredths and 5 tenths, I will tag a zero here. So that this also has two decimal digits now. It is 50 hundredths, and here's 8 hundredths. A total of 58 hundredths. So that's very easy now. Or here, 6 tenths and 22 hundredths. Before you add, you can tag a zero here, so that you have two decimal digits here, and two here, and now you can just think of the hundredths. 60 plus 22 is 82. 82 hundredths. Okay. Now, if you're a student, try those next two problems on your own. Okay, here I have 2 tenths plus 38 hundredths. To this I tag a zero to make it 20 hundredths plus 38, so that is 58 hundredths. Over here, again I will tag a zero here to make it 90 hundredths, take away 4 hundredths, so that is 86 hundredths. Next, we will complete the next whole tenth. What does that mean? It means that we have to add something so that we will get a whole tenth. So many tenths and nothing left over, okay? But remember that 0 0.3 is the same as 30 hundredths. And so clearly we just have to add 8 hundredths here. Now here it is the same kind of problem but we need to put a number here. What will be the next whole tenth after 87 hundredths? This is also 8 tenths and 7 hundredths. So after 8 tenths comes 9 tenths. So 9 tenths goes here. And we need to add 3 hundredths to it, because remember, this you can write as 90 hundredths, if it helps you. What is it, Matthew? Okay, Matthew is reminding me to tell you that now it's your turn to become a teacher detective and find why these two are wrong. Okay, pause the video and try to find out. Now, the first one, I think the person added 92 plus 8 equals 100. So that's why they got it. But if we have, if we tag a zero here, we will see that it's actually 80 hundredths and 92 hundredths. That would make 172 hundredths, okay? 172 hundredths. So I have 100 hundredths and 72 hundredths. So it becomes 1 and 72 hundredths. Let's fix this one too. I think the person added 73 plus 45 equals 118. And they are thinking that the numbers on this side of decimal point act just like whole numbers, okay? But that's not quite the case. If we have 73 and 45 hundredths, we will get 118 hundredths. But that's more than one. To fix it, it's easy though, I just put a decimal point here. 